Hi amazing planner people, it's Joss from My Magical Planner and today I'm going to be doing my weekly layout for the week of October 4th through the 10th and I've decided to use this really cute kit from Simply Watercolors Co which I'll link down below for you guys. It's her Hocus Pocus kit and the artwork is just amazing. I'm pretty sure she does her own artwork and it is absolutely stunning. This is the bottom washi. I was kind of going through the kit to figure out what pieces I was going to use. And then I love that she has this little clipboard because it's just a different thing. And here's our days of a week headers. And then we have all of these boxes plus some icons there. Sorry, it was upside down. And then I did get her add-on deco sheets. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. So this week was a little bit crazy. My husband's uncle passed away. So I decided to take a week off of YouTube and just focus on my family. And I think that was really important for them this week, even though I, I don't know that we did anything specific, just the additional support and not having the distraction of YouTube I felt was important. So I'm putting down the day headers and I did use some Meg B Makes uh, day dots, which I really love. They're kind of on a matte finish, so it's really fun to use them. Then I'm going ahead and laying down that washi strip from the kit down here. I do wish that this washi was overlaid with something. I did look through my collection, but I couldn't find one that I felt fit it. So I just left it as is. I did have to trim off just a teeny bit off of both sides to make it fit perfectly. And then I went and I thought about adding in the other washi from this kit because it did have foiling on it. But in the end, I decided having two washies on the bottom would just be too thick. This is me going through a bunch of stickers, trying to figure out which ones I actually did want to use because I had a bunch set aside. And I ended up picking out these Pretty Pink Co. spiderwebs and this deco from Sadie stickers to put up at the top. It was a little challenging because you have so little room there at the top of the Harriet Wright Designs planner, but it did end up working out pretty well. So I'm gonna try this again. Maybe not this next week, but in a coming week. I did decide that putting it underneath the day headers gave me a cleaner line, especially when I'm layering several different little pieces like I am here on this Thursday. I will say that the two days where I kind of layered stuff up there, I don't feel I did as good of a job as the pre-made deco was. So I'm going to have to work on that one a little bit. I think part of it had to do with the amount of space that you had up there. If any of you guys have like tips for using that small space, let me know. So after I get this all situated, I did decide to pull in some really cute spider webs from the Giving Girl. Well, I guess they're not spider webs, they're spiders. With some of them with like little, um, they're not really webs, they're like the string, you know? <laughs> Anyhow, I really enjoyed adding those in. I might actually get more of those from The Giving Girl because I like them so much. And a whole bunch of my like Halloween deco didn't come in because it was... Okay, so I ordered it from the Pre Pretty Pink Co. like over a month ago. Almost two months ago, I think it was. And it still hasn't come in. The shop is closed and they've sent out emails saying that there was like some kind of problem. So I actually have no idea if I'm going to get those before the end of Halloween season. So I'm trying to come up with a backup plan now, but we'll see. Hopefully they'll come in and then I'll just have lots and lots of Halloween deco, but I'm not really sure at this point. Okay, now we're moving on to my sidebar. I wanted to do something a little different. So I pulled in this cauldron from her deco and then overlaid the October script on top of it. And I think it looks really, really cute. It's maybe one of my favorite little October or like monthly scripts. I also added in some bats from that same sheet from the Giving Girl that the spiders came from. And I added in a little flower just to kind of fill out the space. I used one of the headers from the kit to put below that to give some separation. And then I'm adding in my habit trackers here. So the first one is for a spiritual talk every day, which I did okay on, but not great because I was just so busy with other stuff that it kind of fell off the radar. The other one I did was self-care because I knew this was going to be a hard week. And that one, I think I got about 50% of the time. 
Below those, I wanted to mark my dinners, so I pulled out just a shape from the kit and overlaid that dinner script that I got from Vanilla Paper Co. I think I've used that script so many times since I got it. It might be my most used script. And then I added some gold pumpkins. I think those were also from The Giving Girl. And it doesn't show it on here, I don't think, but I did end up filling out my menu, which was totally different than what I had planned on it being because I went to the store and like the shelves were pretty picked over again. So I don't know if that's everywhere or if it's just here. So I had to completely rethink what we were having because I couldn't get all the items to make certain meals like um, beef stir fry. I couldn't do because I couldn't get, was it the beef? Yeah, I think it was the beef was all gone. So anyhow, and then I magically put all the big boxes on here. <laughs> I did put a to-do at the bottom of my sidebar there, and I filled it out with a couple of things that I was hoping to get done this week. I actually did okay on it. And then on Monday, let's see, I, I made planner time. I think that was me filming this actually, because I was behind on filming because of all the things that happened the day before. And then I had physical therapy that's for my hip. I, so I have arthritis in my hip, but I also, all the muscles are so tight that the hip isn't moving correctly. So I've been going to PT twice a week to try and help with that. And it's been great, but it's twice a week, <laughs> you know? I did end up using a little bit of the florals from the kit, kind of there in the corner to just give a little extra something. And then the, um, the girls that I use in here are both from Joyfully Planning, I think it is. I have a whole bunch of her icons. I love them. I think they're adorable. So after that, I did kind of struggle with how to mark um, my husband's uncle's funeral. I ended up putting it on a sticky note there. He went. I stayed here with the kids because they were at school. I mean, they know his uncle, but it's a, you know, once a year thing for them. So we didn't feel like it would be useful to take them to the funeral, especially since it was a closed casket funeral and everything. So anyhow, I stayed here with them and he kind of went with his family and they all said goodbye together, which was nice. Um, and then Ethan had to work that evening, which I made a box using two of those little corner things and then put bats on both of the corners. And then of course I have that tree deco down there in the corner, which I really like the way that that looked. I kind of regret taking up the pumpkin because looking back at it, I think that actually looked better. And then on Tuesday up at the top there, um, so, my favorite burger place, which I can't go to anymore because I can't have burgers. Um, it's called Blimpy Burgers and diners, drive-ins and dives was coming back to revisit them and they were filming on Tuesday. And so the owner had specifically asked for us to come in with our family, which we decided not to do like the whole family because we would have had to pull the kids out of school and we didn't feel like that was really a worthy cause. <laughs> they would have loved it, but you know, I didn't, think it was really good. I didn't go because I can't eat burgers and I didn't want to be tempted. But my husband went with a friend to that. And then I slept through walking with my friends. I, oh my gosh, I think I woke up at 10 o'clock that day. So, and then Megan had an appointment with the dietitian in the afternoon. And there at the bottom, I did put a, like a little computer icon from the kit over a shape with a three kind of checklist there to do a few more things. I just broke up down the to-do list that I made on the side into smaller chunks on that day. I did put a meal prep thing at the bottom of this day. That did not happen. That's like wishful thinking for me. <laughs> Oh, but Megan did lose 15 pounds since this summer. So the dietitian and her endocrinologist are both really happy with her. And I think it's amazing. So we're just continuing on with the healthy eating. Then on Wednesday, I had my therapy session. I marked that with a sticker from the, what is it? Pumpkin Paper Co. And I love her therapy sticker, especially. I just think it's so pretty. And then below that, I did put a little 
checklist, which will be coming up in a second. <laughs> and then Ethan had work again. And down at the bottom, Dan had band practice. So I think this was the last week of his marching band practice because it was homecoming week, which meant there was a whole bunch of other little crazy things. I did set up his tutor for this coming week, so he'll have that instead on Wednesdays. Thursday was Ethan's birthday, which I marked with an adorable little clipboard and used some, I think they were Crafts by Towie's little add-ons there with like a little present and those squiggly little streamers. I love the quote underneath this. I think it's adorable. And then I used some more of the deco from the kit along with a solid colored box to kind of layer in that icon from Joyfully Planning for Megan's lessons. And then this night we actually, so my husband loves Postmodern Jukebox and I like them a lot too. Don't get me wrong, but he absolutely adores them. And so two years ago, I think it was, for Christmas, we got him tickets to go and see them. And then COVID happened. So the concert got um, canceled. And we had the option of either keeping our tickets or getting our money back. And we decided to keep our tickets. And then when they were able to tour again, we just got tickets to that um, show. So that actually happened on Thursday. And it was kind of amazing. It was their kickoff concert. And everybody who went into the venue had to either show a negative COVID test in the last 24 hours or a vaccination card with ID, which <laughs> that's a whole different story because I forgot my ID at home, but I was able to prove who I was with my phone with Facebook. It was so funny. Anyhow, <laughs> But we got to go to that concert and it was really fun. Um, Friday was homecoming for the kids. And then, so Daniel had to march in a homecoming parade that they do all through downtown. All the schools come out and it's like this huge deal in our town. So I was so proud of him. And then Megan <laughs> was cheering him on so adamantly that evidently he started laughing while playing his trombone. And it was the most adorable thing ever. So I got to hear all about that. Um, Megan had lessons this afternoon, which actually did not end up happening because we showed up to the rink and she didn't have her skates because Ethan had taken her to skating the night before and we both forgot that her skates were in his car. <laughs> so yeah, we showed up and um, then left, <laughs> which ended up working out really well because I got home and then I had to take Daniel up to the high school for marching band because it was obviously the homecoming game was that night so he went over to go do that and then it started raining and they like canceled the game and we had to go pick him up and they rescheduled it for Saturday but he didn't have to go because it was optional <laughs> which is really nice because Ethan was going to the homecoming dance which was held outside on the football field <laughs> so I really appreciate the fact that our school district is trying to both kind of balance that kids need to have fun and being safe. I loved marking that with one of the Sanderson sisters there. And at the top of that day, I did mark that I had my planning class with Shantine Plans, and that was a lot of fun. It was like a hangout. It was so fun. And there was also another U of M hockey game on this night, so Jared took the girls to that, and I stayed home and fell asleep at like seven. <laughs> and then today, which is Sunday, Ethan had to work, but other than that, it's been a pretty low-key day. It's just been really nice. Anyhow, so that pretty much does it for this plan with me. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more planning videos.